As you gaze upon the towering skyscrapers of Tokyo, Osaka, and Yokohama, you might think they're unshakable and solid, like the sturdiest things humans have built. They're like a part of the everyday city scene in Japan, just as they are in any modern city around the world. While these tall structures remain still, the city itself bustles with people and traffic, creating a dynamic backdrop. But imagine if you've ever felt the ground sway during an earthquake. It can make you feel like everything is in chaos. The idea that these structures can't be moved is just a trick our eyes play on us. In reality, something that can't be moved up high can't stay that way when the ground beneath wants to shake it down. In Japan, these skyscrapers have to move with the Earth. You might be surprised to learn that wood, often seen as a traditional building material, is actually a key player in ensuring safety in earthquake-prone areas. Japan is located along the Pacific Ring of Fire and lies at the juncture of several tectonic plates, including the Eurasian, Philippine, and Pacific plates. This geological positioning leads to frequent earthquakes of varying intensities. The 2011 Tohoku earthquake, a tragic event in recent history, demonstrated the immense destructive power of earthquakes. However, it's not an isolated incident. Japan experiences numerous seismic events each year. As a result, every structure in Japan, from towering skyscrapers to temporary shelters, needs to be earthquake resistant. Engineers in Japan focus on two levels of resilience to counter these seismic challenges. Firstly, buildings must be designed to withstand minor earthquakes, which are common in Japan. Even these lesser tremors should leave the building unscathed. The second level of resilience pertains to the ability to endure extreme earthquakes, like the catastrophic Kanto earthquake of 1923 that claimed thousands of lives. Modern buildings aim to minimize damage and prioritize protecting lives above all else. So, how do they achieve this remarkable feat of engineering? To counter the immense forces of earthquakes, buildings must be designed to absorb as much of the seismic energy as possible, ensuring their stability and preventing collapse. This process is known as seismic isolation, and it involves incorporating shock-absorbing mechanisms into the structure. These mechanisms, often as simple as rubber blocks around 12 to 20 inches thick, help resist the earthquake's motions and alleviate the pressure on the building. These shock-absorbing supports are placed between the column and the foundation, providing a cushioning effect. Seismic resilience involves more than just adapting the building's base. Motion dampers positioned throughout the height of the building can further enhance its ability to withstand earthquakes. Placing dampers at specific levels, such as every other floor, reduces the overall building motion during an earthquake. These dampers, resembling bicycle pumps but filled with liquid instead of air, work by compressing the liquid as the building moves, effectively reducing vibrations. While architects often aim for visually stunning skyscrapers, meeting the stringent seismic standards set by engineers can lead to compromises. These elaborate shock-absorbing devices aren't the only means of achieving earthquake resistance. Building layout and design also play a crucial role. A more regular building design, with uniform floor heights and evenly spaced columns, enhances earthquake performance. However, engineers often face challenges in reconciling ambitious architectural visions with the practical demands of seismic safety. Another strategy employed to prevent the building supports from buckling involves the use of mesh structures. By incorporating mesh-like patterns, the building's components are interconnected preventing the collapse of one part from spreading, and reinforcing the structure by evenly distributing the energy. In one notable case, a Japanese textile company opted for an innovative solution, carbon fiber rope. They developed a high tensile twine using a carbon fiber composite material. This remarkable material was employed to reinforce the structure of their new showroom and laboratory in Nomi. Collaborating with Japanese architectures Kengo Kuma and Associates, they utilized rods made from this carbon fiber composite to anchor the building. A total of 1,031 rods were attached to the roof and tethered to the ground, along with 2,778 rods inside the building. This pioneering application of carbon fiber in construction could potentially be applied to flexible structures like wooden buildings that experience horizontal swaying. The journey towards creating truly earthquake-proof buildings is an evolving process, one that's far from static. 
Researchers are continually studying fault activity to estimate how future earthquakes might impact structures. Recent events such as the intense and deadly 7.1 magnitude earthquake in Fukushima and the 7.0 magnitude earthquake in Miyagi highlight the increasing frequency of such seismic events. Seismologists are faced with the challenging task of predicting the unpredictable as these powerful tremors become more common. The solution to this challenge lies in the ongoing testing of existing technologies used to stabilize buildings. Innovative designs like the mesh structures mentioned earlier are part of these ongoing efforts. Experimentation often takes place in smaller, more unconventional structures. For instance, architect So Fujimoto designed an intricate polyhedral mesh aimed at resisting buckling. This exploration of creative designs and materials paves the way for better earthquake resilience in the future. Throughout history, Japan has experienced a remarkable 61 earthquakes with a magnitude of 7.0 or higher since the construction of the Horyuji Temple back in 607 AD. But how did a structure like the 122-foot-tall temple manage to stand strong amid all that shaking? The story traces back to the 6th century when Japan adopted multi-story pagoda technology from China along with the spread of Buddhism. However, traditional stone-built pagodas from the mainland proved unsuitable for Japan's seismic instability. To adapt, the Japanese ingenuously made three key design changes that allowed pagodas to thrive despite the shaky conditions. First, they embraced the concept of wide and heavy eaves, which not only added a distinct aesthetic but also offered stability. Second, they introduced disconnected floors, a method that allowed each level to move independently during an earthquake, minimizing structural stress. Lastly, the invention of the shock-absorbing Shin Bashira was a game-changer. A contemporary example of blending traditional wisdom with modern innovation can be seen in Tokyo's Sky Tree Tower. Combining neo-futuristic elements with traditional pagoda design, the tower features a central pillar linked to seismic dampers. This combination effectively absorbs earthquake energy, as demonstrated by its resilience in recent seismic events. The Shin Bashira was a technological marvel of its time. Originally made from a large pine trunk, it hangs from the roof and extends down a central shaft within the structure, its ability to sway and absorb momentum. Essentially, it functions as a massive pendulum, using its weight to counteract seismic forces. Remarkably, the same damping technology used centuries ago remains relevant today. In various corners of the world, ingenuous solutions have emerged to tackle different threats. Take the Taipei 101, for example, a towering marvel in Taiwan. It boasts a massive four-story, 730-ton pendulum made of steel that hangs from the 92nd floor. This ingenuous countermeasure is designed to prevent the building from swaying excessively during high winds, ensuring stability and safety for its occupants. Across the globe in New York City, the City Corp Center employs a different technique to weather the storm. Here, a 500-ton concrete block acts as a safeguard against hurricanes, anchoring the building and thwarting any attempts by powerful winds to budge it from its position. In the realm of architectural innovation, there's no shortage of exceptional ideas pushing technology to its limits. These designs are united by a common goal, to make our world safer and more secure. Engineers and architects share a profound commitment to preserving human life, driving them to explore ever-evolving strategies that ensure the well-being of occupants. We'd love to hear from you. Have you ever experienced an earthquake while in a skyscraper? The sensation of the ground when you're high above the ground can be quite unsettling. Share your thoughts and experiences in the comments below. If you found this video intriguing, make sure to show your appreciation by giving it a thumbs up and subscribing to our channel. Don't forget to turn on post notifications so you never miss an update. Thank you for joining us on this exploration of architectural ingenuity. Until our next adventure, take care and stay tuned to Superstructures for more captivating stories of design, engineering, and the incredible world of construction.